go. Okay, so we begin. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. All right, we are leaving Atumwa. And first and foremost, a big shout out to Father Joseph Sia and uh, Catholic Parish in Atumwa for putting us up in one of their two rectories. We uh, had a good ride yesterday and uh, we ask that today be good and safe. Lord, we ask your Holy Spirit for this video so we can do it in one take. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. All right, so I've been thinking, as I do, but uh, this weekend and the four, next four weekends, I've declared as an unofficial season within the summer because in this year of the Gospel of St. Mark, we take a break for five weeks and go to the Gospel of John for chapter six, the Bread of Life Discourse, which is timely because I just came back from uh, the Eucharistic Congress over in Indianapolis. And uh, so let me tell you what my musings were. So if you think of the season of Lent, we, uh, we try to imagine ourselves in the desert similar to the Israelites, but also Jesus 40 days in the desert, and that helps us to get ready for Easter. And they tell me, I'm not an expert, but they tell me that they could have gotten from point A to point B in much less time, but they wandered aimlessly in the desert, as was part of God's plan. Well, today we're going from Atumwa to Mount Pleasant, and it's only about 40 miles if we wanted to get from point A to point B, but we will go 85 miles because we're gonna wander around Iowa. So, uh, in these next five weeks, we are going to hear Jesus talking about the his uh, flesh and blood being things that we will consume so that we have eternal life. And it starts this weekend with uh, him feeding the 5,000 with like five loaves of barley bread. And the question is always, you know, as far as the Eucharist is concerned, whether or not it's actual body, blood, soul, and divinity, or whether it's just symbolic. This weekend, the barley loaves are symbolic. They point to the fact that Jesus is who he claims to be. That's easy, everyone had their fill, everybody's happy, but over the next five weeks, Jesus is going to insist that they understand him as uh, flesh for the life of the world. And little by little, people are gonna get nervous and they're gonna say, this, this, this teaching is too hard, we can't, we can't follow him anymore. And it says, a good number of them left him and went back to their former way of life. And uh, my favorite is five weeks from now when he turns to the 12, he says, you wanna leave too? And Peter, speaking for all of us, says, Lord, I have no idea what you just said, but I believe you because I know who you are. So uh, in these next five weeks, prepare yourself to be reminded of the great gift that you have received in the Eucharist. But more than that, as I learned at the Eucharistic Congress, uh, when we receive the Eucharist, we are automatically sent on mission. So food for the journey, it's food for a purpose, not just to fill our bellies. So uh, as I'm about ready to start breathing real hard because there's a big hill up ahead, I'm going to say, uh, keep growing closer to the Lord. He is our strength. So God bless you. We'll see you at Mass.